Wow! That was incredible! After having spent the morning at low tide photographing seabirds, uh, spending the morning down at the shore photographing birds in flight over the waves, I'm now come to an estuary and as the tide is coming back up, I'm hoping that the waders that are here, the geese that are here, all the birds that are feeding out in the um, estuary here is going to be pushed back up to the side. And my idea is I'm going to get dressed up, wellies, waterproofs, and I'm going to go lie down. I'm going to walk down a bit towards the sun so that I can get, um, that I can get a front-lit subject. But I'm also hoping those clouds are going to stay around because I kind of want it to light a little bit softer than the harshness um, that, that might come. Anyways, um, I'm just going to get dressed up in my waterproof wellies and everything. And I'll just take a stroll out here and I'll just scan with my binoculars first, get down low and try and get some really nice low angling images of the waders that are out here. patch here, so I'm going to try to lie down there. Alright, time to lie down in the mud. stuff out here. I had a flock of golden plover fly by. Loads of oyster catchers out here. Curlews. I think maybe some wimbrels. Some gulls. flying right past me. That is so cool. Things are starting to get a bit closer. And I can see the tide is moving in as well. So hopefully I can get some images before I'm flushed away by the tide. It's still a bit too far away though, because it's just such small waders.
Wow! That was incredible! Flocks and flocks of red shank chains came right up to me, right towards me. They were getting so close, but I had to get up in the air and I had to just get up because the water was coming in with them. I would have just soaked my gear. As you can see, I'm quite muddy. That was incredible, absolutely incredible. I've never been so close to so many red shanks before. And they look absolutely amazing. One thing there is I couldn't really check my LCD very often or check my histogram because they were so close I was afraid to pop my head up. <laughs> that water came in fast in the end, really fast. Oh, what an experience. Oh man, I love that. Absolutely love that. Ooh. It's a shame that I had to withdraw so fast and get up and spook them, but that happens. I couldn't really do anything about it. I, I would have been submerged if I stayed. I'm gonna head back a bit to where it's much drier and then I kinda I'll start scanning a bit around to see if there's anything else that I might focus on. But all my gear is quite muddy and sandy, so it might be a good time to stop for today as well. That was a good as finish as I could ever hope for. After having I mean I got quite cold, I think. Next time I want to wear even maybe thermal trousers or something like that underneath. But it gets cold just lying on the mud. Um, and other than that, I should have taken off my strap for the camera because that's gotten quite muddy. And probably in the end, I probably didn't even need my binoculars. But they're good to have now that I'm about to scan for a new flock that I might focus on. And I didn't quite know that it was going to be the red shanks. I was actually. Uh, the curlews were quite close to me in the beginning and I had a couple kind of get near but not nowhere near like what I had there not near enough for a good photo either my problem was always that if the bird was small in the, in the frame my background just wasn't far enough away relative to the distance of the bird if you know what I mean so the background was too visible but there how close those little red shanks got. There was no background. And I think some of them were just, it just was clear water. Absolutely loved it. And this is the kind of place I want to be for sunrise. So, I don't have many days left in the Highlands and this was still an hour and a half drive in the morning. So it's not something I'm gonna do every day. All right, just gonna sit down here, regroup. Yeah, just met a guy on the way back up here, gave me some more advice about where to go, but I think I've kind of got what I came here for today. I'm so happy, and I just want to come back in better light one day, if I can make it, because I'm leaving down south um, in four or five days, so I don't know if I have time, but anyways, that's a wrap for this video, and if you haven't subscribed already, my name is Espen, and this channel is all about wildlife photography. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe, leave a comment, say hi, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.